Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the length of the maximum sagging bars. So just to show you, show you sort of where we're at, from our moment envelope, we're now looking at finding the length of these bars to handle this maximum moment, okay? So in our diagram over here, we've done the hogging. Now for the saggings at the bottom, because we're not being sagging our tensions in the bottom. So for the maximum sagging, it occurs around mid-span. So we now have to find the length of this bar from the mid-span. Okay, we need to find the length of that bar. Now, I'm gonna be doing all of this video outside of the code, so I'm not gonna be showing the code. I'm assuming you've watched um, at least the two previous videos where I've done it all inside the code and showed you. I'm just quoting the formula straight from the code. I'm not showing the code at all. Now, once again, we need to find, uh, it makes it a lot simpler to find length of half a bar instead of length of a bar. Now, for the sagging case, it is the max of lsy.tb l0 plus d. For the um, hogging case, we had plus the column on two. We don't have that for this case here because we're starting at mid-span, we're not starting at the column. So for mid-span maximum, we're starting at mid-span. For um, the hogging case, because, because the maximum hogging case w went through the column, we had to add on half the length of the column either side. Now the maximum sagging case starts at mid-span, so we don't add on the column, okay? So that's just the formula there. So we want to find D, which is just the depth of the beam. We know that to be 650 mils. So we've seen that lots of times before. LS, LSY.TB is this formula here. Um, that's just straight from the code. It is in section 13.1.2.2. 13.1.2.2. If you haven't seen it before, look it up and you can follow as we go along. Now, K1 is just one. DB is the diameter of the bar because we have four and 28 for the maximum sagging. The diameter of the bar is 28 mils. K2 is 132 minus DB on 100. DB is 28, so just subbing that in. Solving that, we get 1.04. K3 is this formula over here. 1 minus 0 0.15 outside of CD minus DB on DB. Now to find...